KHQA's Sensational 7. It seems wholly appropriate on this day of all days to christen our countdown with a little Marth madness. q and football may have dropped from the ranks of the unbeaten on Saturday at Normal West and struggled mightily on offense, but leave it to All-Stater Jack Marth to ignite a bit of fun with this textbook strip away to set up a grand higher scoop and score for the Raiders' only touchdown in a 20-9 defeat. Plenty of offensive excitement was generated at QU Stadium this weekend as the Hawk baseball team swept Truman State and put a staggering 59 runs on the board in just four games. But it was actually a pitching performance that looms largest here, as QU ace Riley Martin tied a career best in the opener of the series with 16 strikeouts to jumpstart the Brooms. The upset didn't wholly materialize, but Beardstown put quite the scare into Unity Payson on Friday, jumping out to a 19-0 lead. Jacob Pate's long-distance strike of 77 yards to Owen Quigley, the Tigers' finest moment in that strong first half, but 35 unanswered points from the Mustangs silenced the uprise. The Pittsfield Saki snapped an eight-game losing streak on Friday and wasted little time against Porta asserting that they meant business on their home turf. This is Marco Ballinger off the opening kickoff, heading houseward without pause or delay or even a Blue Jay to stop him, the flashpoint moment of an eventual 33-6 win. Less spectacularly, but no less importantly, Concord Triopia dropped Camp Point Central from the ranks of the unbeaten Saturday thanks to both a Jake Mueller one-yard go-ahead QB sneak with 38 seconds left in regulation and a fumble recovery by the quarterback on the ensuing two-point conversion attempt. But it would be Isaac Struby's juggling interception here that punctuated that 14-8 Trojan road win. This proved to be quite the week for the Macomb Volleyball Squad, which reeled off a statement straight sets win at Quincy Notre Dame and beat Payson at home. But the Lady Bombers also showed off some serving prowess in a runover victory at Liberty 24 hours before the win at Q&D, with Jenna McCammett firing off a half dozen aces of her own, including this signature piece off an opponent's unsuspecting cranium. But top owners this week were an absolute no-brainer choice. Blue Devil Soccer's Andrew Vandermaden tied the school record for goals in a game this week with four against Beardstown, then went out 48 hours later and did the exact same thing again against McComb. The tsunami of scoring powered QHS to a 3-0 week and gave Vandermaden himself a unique place in QHS soccer lore. A tip of the cap to the Blue Devils tour de force up top for giving us a flurry of fun this week, sensational seven style. <laughs>